Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Back to do some encaustic pouring, shall we? I got my coffee. Ready to go. So, as before, I paint taped up the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and the, the last one I had <coughs> a little bit of leakage, so I have to make sure you tape it up real, press it down real good. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the coffee went down the wrong pipe, I guess. Okay. All that helps. And as before, we're just going to put some clear one on here. Clear encaustic medium. surface to put the rest of the colors on. I'd like to make sure that, sorry for that, um, my tail is quite um, even. So make sure you try to make have it even. So I'll try today to use yellow and green, kind of the different colors. So what I was doing, I was just poured it on here. This one isn't quite all melted, but it's okay. Blob on here. And a little bit of green. And I think I need more <coughs> yellow and all green. To keep this piece out of here. I don't have a lot of white left. It's just, it's pretty much non white. <laughs> it's more like a silver. Oopsie. I keep banging my head on the camera. Sorry. So you need to heat it up and try to blow it out like a pour painting. It's not a lot of paint. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together Okay
in the bed. To have more heads out the way easier than what I'm doing. It just really cools down really fast because I just don't want to get it too hot. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small Here, so see if we can put a little more of this stuff in here. Uh, it's not melting too well. Hmm. There you go. Whoops, now it's all over uh, all the paintings. Gives it a little bit of like a cell effect. Should be okay. <laughs> let's, let's see what the torch does. always too much coming out so see what we can do with that some clear on there move it around a bit more Couple of drops of the darker ink. Okay, it's 
Oops. Ideal is to have actually little pans, which I need. To, let's see the dollar store. Uh, the, the thrift shop has some old pans I can use. Little ones too. Don't know if they got little ones. Looks kind of cool now. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Can play with this all day. spots there. <clears throat> That's a problem, it makes these poor spots.
Demon Fire! I just don't like this. Ugly stuff around here. Mm. So the left it out was. None of this happens. See how it actually looks from here. from close um, I wanted to show you a couple more that I did a few years back this is one This is on paper. It's hard to see, but anyway. And the ones I did yesterday, just the first one, I put some gold on it to give it a little shimmer. There. This one too. Gold. There you go. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little encaustic workshop experiment. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and watch those other two videos so you can figure out how I kind of set up my encaustic workspace. Subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one. Bye.